Hello everyone, I'm Senor Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, playing as the Regional Defense Council of Iberia. So, last time, we mostly just watched what was going on in Europe. It looks like the Axe is doing extremely well against Russia. I should really say the Soviet Union. But they have been invaded in Sicily, Greece is still holding on, and Norway isn't looking super good for the Axis at the moment. But, we'll see what happens. Now, I... I don't I don't know if this is a good idea. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. The Allies do have Bordeaux. They also have Nice. I don't know if they'll invite me to the faction if I go to war with the Axis. They probably won't, but you know what? We don't have a lot of manpower. Vichy France is, well, Vichy France. They have quite a few factories, actually. Um, anything about their divisions? If we go to war with them, we might do okay. Just because I just don't trust... Or... I should really say, I don't know how long the Soviet Union is going to be able to hold, because if they collapse, if they capitulate, then there's no way we can win. There's just no way that with the German AI going ham on us... Yeah, look at that. 3 million casualties, 7.4. They are 71% of the way towards capitulation. Vichy France is considered a major power too, huh? So, this is probably a bad idea, because my army is just not ready. We barely have... Uh, Oh, hold on. We, we barely have Coast Guard divisions as well. We currently need a total of 28. And we need a lot more manpower. Now I'm hoping, I'm really, really, really hoping that we shall finish up our focus, Faith in the Cause, and then get to militarize the people, which gives us more population, less training time, a bonus to land doctrine, whatever. Anarchism knows no about borders, which is really good. Plant the Seeds of Revolution, which is good. And then Global Defense Council. But all these are extremely, extremely important. But I want to cash in on a potential invasion into the Axis, if possible. So, we have to be prepared. We definitely have to be ready for this. Um, I mean, it looks good so far, but they do have 30 days to mobilize and get their soldiers to the border, so we'll definitely see what happens. Right now, we have some factories. I'm still trying to build myself up, though, man. Oh. Oh, you're helping reduce resistance, which is good. Anti-partisan, root out resistance levels. Go ahead and do that. I think that's pretty important to do for us. Right now, that we're rooting out resistance, and we're building a spy network in good old Vichy of France. Double check, cryptology, decrypting in a few days. Let's see. It takes 800 days, holy cow. If we just wait a little bit longer, we might be able to do that. Just, I hope... Oh, they lost Bordeaux. Nice is there. These islands are okay. That's islands okay. Uh, I mean, the Soviets have lost Leningrad. Moscow... And then Stalingrad is also lost. I'm just really, really hoping. Now we can't see the resistance, but uh, that their resistance gets higher and higher and higher and higher. Also, I do want to just one comment from yesterday, or at least from the last video. Um, when are we getting anarchist nukes? That's a good question. I'm not really sure. That sounds like a lot of fun, though. That sounds like a, a lot of fun. Sometime, I promise you, sometime we'll get some anarchist nukes. Anarcho-communist nukes, to be sure. Eliminate... Oh wait. Eliminate guerrillas. More... I need a lot of compliance. Tons of compliance. How do I get that much compliance out? Ooh, we can build more steel here? Do I need more steel? Uh, we're okay on steel for now. I need rubber and aluminum, of course. Um... There's... Yeah. Trying to get more co compliance here might be a little bit difficult. Compliance just grows way too slowly, to be honest with you. It says we have high compliance. Sweet. 80%. That's not too much. That's not very high. I'm not going to lie. That's not very high. Shock and awe, though. That's really good. And we're done with our land doctrine. We don't need another bonus for that. It's 1943. Uh, we're doing that. Good stuff. Good stuff. I need that. Uh, what else we can get? Cap and growth? I definitely want the cap. Retention's okay. Um, but you're still going to grow no matter what. And that retention's 20%. Yeah, just, I like, I'm a grower. All right. I'm a grower. All right. I'm definitely a grower. Okay, then. Uh, we still have 10% stability, which is not bad. That's pretty good. Uh, Supply-wise, we just need a little bit more motorized. We need a little bit more map medium tanks. And we'll be good, because we're trying to make a tank division here as well. It's only 20 combat width, but, you know, that's still pretty good. Come on, allies, you better hold. Soviets, you're doing okay-ish, maybe? Maybe? They might be selling out. I did tab over to see that the Soviets did do their order, was it, 227? So that they get more defense on their core territory. Yeah, we don't have a lot of intelligence on these guys. Uh, I wish it was this national spirit, though. That'd be pretty good for a while. 
So, yeah. Uh, just please hold. Please hold. Oh, they might not. They are still getting pushed back quite a bit. Those Romanians or Italians, they're doing quite the number on the Soviets. America, you got to do more than this, man. You got to do more. I know you're defending Greece. I know you're attacking here in France, but we go going to need a little bit more. Okay, so we can go to war immediately. This is probably a bad idea. This is probably a really bad idea. But, like all bad, like all ideas, you don't know what's going to happen until you try. And who knows, maybe we'll join the Allies. Uh, do we have enough guns? We got enough guns for garrisons, which is good. Uh, infiltrate civilian administration, infiltrate the army. Actually, how much longer do we have? Until July 16th. Just because I'm thinking about the cryptology department. But they, I have my justification done now. I think it might be good to wait. It's not good to wait, just because they might pull more soldiers on the front. The best time to attack probably is right now. So, before we do that, please stop exercising. Spider wings, just put 100 on each um, army. That'd be good. Oh, you're naval bombers. Um, not sure what to do with you. Do you have any other planes? Maybe I should have done this before. I've got a few planes here. Alright, well, that's okay. And then when we have them... I don't really, I don't really want to use close air support too much. But there you go. Let's see what happens, my friends. Call all allies, which is none. And immediately enter the Vichy France. And the Reich is called in. Sure, guys, you want to move through my territory? You know what? Can I join your alliance? I know I'm an anarchist group, and we don't always agree on things, but we can all agree fascism probably ain't the thing for everyone here. Call it Italy in. Um, I need more Coast Guards. Really ramp up production there. Take as much land as you possibly can now while they're still gone. That's good, good, good. Um, localized training centers, more passive defense. Let's do that just because I know the Axis has definitely quite a bit of resistance or activity there. Alright, they're calling in more soldiers. That's not good. Wow, they're really weak. Holy cow. That's really weak. Okay, now we have no stability. We got a lot of war sports though, which is good. Uh, not, really not much there. We've been caught there. That's fine. I'm going to keep attacking though for now just because I think it's worth it. Keep taking as much land as possible. Yeah. Even though I'm anarchist, they still don't want me to join their faction, I guess. <clears throat> Are you still the leader of the allies? Oh, ask to join faction. Uh, negative 2200. Oh, oh, man. Generate too much world tension compared to the faction. A strategic reason not to ally the Regional Defense Council of Iberia. Well, I guess that makes sense. We can keep pushing forward just a little bit more. We're going to get, definitely get caught. We won't be extremely successful, but you know what? Any way I can relieve just a tiny bit of pressure from the Soviets, I think would be very helpful. And I did, did allow some of... Uh... Oh, Dutchies Indies gone. Did allow that some of the allies into our lands. So that should allow them to move through here, which would be good. Actually, I don't know much about Italy, but what's their navy like? Because America is here. Deployed naval manpower. Ah, that's not bad. That's not that great, actually. Which is good. Oh, total ship count. And again, I don't have a lot of ships myself. And the ships I do have are probably not the greatest. So, keep that in mind. Go ahead and go down to this level. You guys can stop attacking. You're getting a little crazy for me there. Um, if I do an attack, I probably attack. Or at least defend this area. That's good. Vichy France is more than halfway to capitulating. Great. Actually, wait, hold on. I can see the casualties here. We've lost 1.68 million. 6 million. I have done 21,000 casualties. Alright, so be it. Uh, not bad, not bad. Faith in the cause, more war support. That means no absolutely nothing to us. Absolutely nothing. I really want to say that we could win here. We should be able to win here. You can, might be able to hold. I, don't, I want someone to at least defend Bordeaux. 
Alright, you guys can stop attacking. Alright, you guys can stop attacking. That'll be good. Don't want to waste manpower. You help attack that direction. That'll be good. Let him attack us. We'll definitely see what happens. Ah, faith in the cause is done. Good, good, good. Militarize the people. We must. We do not have the luxury of keeping our hands clean from blood. All must be taught to wield a weapon in self-defense so that when the time comes, they might fight for their future. Are we getting invaded? I thought I heard maybe. Perhaps no. Good. Oh well, this part of uh, uh Africa is, which honestly I kind of expected. So not really a loss. Yeah, get get back, get back. Take leave Sayuta, 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 whatever it's called. All right. Well, the Italians here. We got to reorganize ourselves just a little bit. We did do okay, we took Toulouse, we took Bordeaux, so I'm feeling actually a little bit okay about that. For now, uh, resistance is probably growing by quite a bit. I guess, this doesn't make any sense, but martial law will be instituted uh, across all the entire area here. Yeah, Aquitaine. Just because, well, it's needed. Yes, an anarchist state, which already doesn't make any sense, has instituted martial law. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And they're attacking us. Jolly good. Jolly good. Now we just gotta make sure we got enough guns. We need enough motorized. Which we're still making a little bit, which is nice. We're gonna make a medium tank twos. We'll have a tank division soon enough. Now that did help the Allies actually expand a little bit more into Italy and France. That's good. That's very good. Uh, the invasion of the Soviet Union is still going on. But, hey, look at that. Cherbourg, Brittany... Uh, even a little bit of, uh, the Netherlands is coming back. Oh, la, la. Uh, you might be able to do a thing of damage there. Perhaps. That'd be great. Oh, yeah, they're, they pulled off some of their divisions. That's awesome to see. Oh, they're becoming more and more weak. This is good. The Cypher for... Oh, buddy boy. Oh, yeah, that's nice. No enemy Cypher's being... Cypher... Uh, 838... 200. Oh, 200, but they might not survive that long. Let's go and do, do the Germans for now. That's easy. What are we building up? More civilian factories, which is... Oh, whoa! Look at that. She's amazing at this. Look at that. How fast she's going at this? At one speed? What is going on? She is a... She is a winner there. Holy cow. I've never seen the game move that fast. Holy cow. <laughs> oh. I do want to attack... I really, really want to attack. I might wait for my tanks so we can do the uh, breakthrough cipher intel reveal thing. And you know what? That's really so, that's so weak. I'm tempted. I am easily tempted to move there. Does anyone have upgrades? I want to see how well the allies are going to do. Cipriano? No. Oh, oh, oh god, no. Look at our uh, manpower. That's not good. That's not good whatsoever. Even more passive defense. Uh, I need to raise my conscription level. Please, thank you. Militarized people will give us more pop, uh, more population as well, which will be great. But, uh, yeah, I'm not going to attack yet. Just because I don't have any manpower, and I need to research hospitals, support companies. Oh, Vichy France came up there to stop the attack. But they let America and the UK and the rest of the Allies in. The Netherlands is looking great. I knew doing something like this was a smartish ish idea. And now we're running out of manpower. Hmm. This does not feel good. I got less than 200 guys. 200 anarchists. Oh, oh, never mind. We got up to 800 almost. Eh, nice. Nice. Give me a little bit more population or a little more po political power so I can raise my level. Oh, never mind. I can't. Has not... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is not good. This, no. Has not completed the focus. Almost barely torch. What the heck? Uh, where is that one? Almost bear the... Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess it makes sense. We're all in volunteer only. So then, I have... No, but I, uh, I need some manpower. We're... Yeah, yeah, I know. We're missing a little bit of manpower. Um, I really don't want to do this. We're out of manpower. I really don't want to do this. But I cannot afford uprisings right now, so... Yeah, let that manpower go to where it needs to be. We can get more manpower once our national focus is done. Or focus is done. Look, Free France is doing great. It's doing a great job. Well, Brittany's fallen again. Netherlands is doing good, though. For now. That's good. Come on. so Do not give up, Soviets. Do not. Is Warsaw rising? Uprising? No, they're not. 
The Germans know what they're doing this time around. 19... 19%? 31%? 17? Where's Moscow? How are you not like 100% resistance there? Holy cow. Come on, Netherlands. Hold, hold, hold. We got more divisions, which is great, but now that's cost us so much extra manpower that I just cannot afford. Oops. I can't afford this. If I do that, that's good. Construction 5. It's nice. It's good. 1943, more Lionite attack. Heart attack and piercing. Well, we got some Belgians here. There's really no good spot for me to even try to attack. Maybe except for here. Yeah, that should be okay to attack. Nice. Come on, hold off in the Netherlands. Please do not give up yet. Not enough manpower. Oh, we're missing... Oh my god, we're missing so much manpower. This is not good. This is really not good. Oh, I could destroy my ship, so that wouldn't, wouldn't really help us. Ah, the Netherlands is gone. Again. Social revolutionary. Does anyone here give me more manpower? No. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Artillery. I would love this guy, but we can't do that. Concealment. Division recovery rate is still pretty good to do. I might do that. Oh, here we go. We can eliminate some stuff to get some core population, which is awesome. Eliminate the Navarra guerrillas as well as the Galicia. We lose a little bit of, um, of army XP, infantry equipment, and weekly manpower. It goes down by 300, which is... Okay, now, I'm, just go ahead and do that. I need some core population, man. Because the garrisons, they're kind of demanding it. Ah, research. Atomic research. Awesome. Disperse industry. Go for nuclear reactors. Use the manpower that we don't have to build nuclear reactors. And we could use some fuel. We could really use some fuel, but go... Oh, boy. I really, really need some fuel. 70%. Yeah, do that. At least get one of those things going. Alright, we're getting attacked. So be it. So be it. We haven't done inflicted that many casualties, of course. We've lost 28,000. Okay. Okay. We've killed off 53,000. Oh, no, no. We haven't. We killed 35,000. And how many Germans have we killed off? We have no idea. Less than 74,000, though. Italy's not looking too bad. Italy's looking more and more blue, which I love, love, love. Passive defense, good. Um, how much intelligence is being used, like right now? Oh, holy cow, that's not good. We, we need more passive de intelligence. They have a footing in the country. Yeah, no, 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 no. Defense, even more passive defense. I love the re re resistance, but we definitely need more of this. I definitely want to keep an eye on what Vichy France is up to too. Since we're at war with them. Their ships, they don't have many ships, which is good. Their army, up to 76 divisions, maybe. A lot of manpower. Up to about 300,000. We took off like 20 factories from them, including the allies. You know, these guys did it as well, which is good. Oh, God, come on. Give me good more population. Actually, with Galicia garrison gone, or we don't have to garrison that area, which saves us manpower and infantry equipment. The Navarra, same thing for Navarra, which would be awesome. Oh, don't tell me someone's invading me. For the love of God, please do not invade me. I cannot afford that. Immediately go south. Pull off, pull off. Oh, wait. No, they invaded this. The Balearic Islands. Well, just in case. I should really have a garrison here. And who knows, with that, with these guys gone, they might attack me more. I mean, if India is gone. We've got 4,600 more men. Oh, my God, Japan. Holy cow, that's a big Japanese India. What's going on down here? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we own this. Oh, we're going to lose that. Oh. Okay, we lost all that manpower. Okay, so be it. Come on, America. You've invaded the heel of Italy. You've invaded the heel. Greece is still holding out very nicely. I'd love to see how much manpower... Actually, how much manpower does Italy have left? They have a lot of manpower. Holy cow. Now, I was going to say I want them to attack me more. But they're already doing that. And I'm feeling okay about that. I'm feeling quite okay. Just gotta wait for this focus to complete to get a little bit more manpower. So then we go anarchism knows no bounds and then plant the seeds of revolution, allowing for the creation of anarchist uprisings in neighboring enemy countries, 
and then unlock the seeds of revolution decisions so the transfer and cooling of any foreign controlled states that have sufficiently high compliance which is really good yeah we got enough infantry equipment for now especially what with the enemies that they need that oh we lost a tile that's not good you know what go ahead and, can you hold them off how long can you hold them off not for long how long does it take you to get up here oh you might be able to hold them off if you get these two divisions up there that's good Three divisions, not bad. Building seven. Oh, oh. Vichy France, you are a pain in the butt. Resistance is going up here. How is our garrison division? Uh, I definitely need military police. Do I not have military police yet? Suppression's really good, though. 20? Yeah, that's really, really good. Cannot deploy because I have no manpower. Come on, focus, come on. Oh, we did it. Good, good. Anarchism knows no about borders. If the nations of the world do not wish to tolerate us among them, then our only re recourse for a future in which we may collectivize in peace is the very abolition of all nation states itself. If we get, why do we get so much war support? I mean, our war support is way bueno. I mean, it's so good. Holy cow. It's so good. Oh, we lost a tile. That's fine. Alright, if you really want to hold on to it, that's okay with me, but yeah, let it be known that uh, ain't easy to hold in it. Compliance is at zero. Yeah, that makes sense. Passive defense. Good. We'll max that out. Localized training centers. Operative recruitment choices. Uh, I want to know more about the army of enemies. Yeah, this is getting annoying. Resistance growth. Maquis. Connections to trade unions. Communist corporations. 25%. Point 0.2. Jesus. And it's going up by point 0.3. Holy cow. Why? Connections to trade unions. Communist cooperation. Like, what? Use default. Martial law. Forced labor. I mean, this is the best we can do. Martial law. Resistance to occupation. How does... Oh, my goodness. Uh, the resistance going down here? Holy crud. Oh, come on, Soviets. Come on, man. How much manpower do we need? Anarchist Spain is really hard to play. Because you have n nothing. Like, you need more manpower. Actually, can we... Alright, we'll get a little bit more here, too. That's good, but... There's no way you can get more compliance. There's just no way. It's so tiny, the amount that you actually get. That it almost basically doesn't even exist. That's not a good mechanic. Especially if it's, like, Spain. That's the one thing if it's, like, Germany conquering Poland. But, you know, Spain... You're still at least slightly Spanish. Uh, I'll just keep holding on for manpower, I suppose. Until we get enough to fill our gullet for a while. We're missing 14,000 pieces of manpower. Holy cow. Come on, hurry this up. Mm, they're still trying to attack me. Why are you... You're not a bad division. I only have manpower to increase the division size. Come on, America. Keep invading. Keep invading. Oh, yeah. Take out Rome again. Take out Rome. Oh, they're trying down here. We lost the heal. They lost the heal. I mean, the resistance down here should be insane. It's... Why is... How is it not insane? I can't imagine Italy and Romania producing enough infantry equipment, really, to garrison this that much more. Oh, another... Oh, good tank division. Actually, that's really... That's really, really helpful. So, we're going to have to try to push. We're going to try to meet up the allies here. If we can. You all give me a new guy. Felipe Fernandez. Hello. Join Eduardo. We're going to try to push up here to here to here. Get to La Roche. Encircle three divisions. Destroy them. Um, wow, they're really trying to kill us off. They're trying to really kill them off, too. Put you on low. Put you on low. Put you on low. Army department. Pretty good. Civilian economy. 
Did we get any manpower yet? It hasn't happened yet. Good. Three. Not bad, not bad. And make it one more day. Tanks are up there, which is great. I'm expecting just a little bit, not very much. Just a tiny bit. Eleven. I saw eleven there for a little bit. Cool. Now we should have less of a need to garrison certain areas. Uh, resistance on the map. So Galicia should be perfect. Basically, it's going to go down. There's no point to even garrison this. Please tell me it's going down. It would make no sense if it would go back up. It's going down. Good. Very nice. Martial law. Eh, we got another thingy here. Oh, we're, oh yeah. <sighs> Screw the subs. We're not going to expand over the seas. Just make convoys. Oh, a little bit of manpower. There you go. I like it. And it's almost immediately completely gone. There it goes. Yeah, there's nothing I can do for compliance. It doesn't want to be raised. Hmm. Can I, like, pay them to be more compliant? Civilian oversight, I mean, that's pretty much the only one we really can use. While well, pissing us, everyone off. Alright, well, whatever. With no manpower... Oh, we wanted to get up here, but the allies were pushed out once again. You know what? What do we push out this way? Send the tank back down here. We should should be able to get to that tile. From here to there, which would be good. Then we can kill them off that way. Let's see. We have a total of 6.5% pop, uh, population being mobilized. Not bad. Not bad. I wonder... 25%. I, that's not, I don't know why the game thinks that's high compliance. It's really, it's really not. But, Martial Law and Free France. Yeah, whatever. Dominion of India. That doesn't make any sense. That's a, it's not. I know it's not a core piece of territory, but still. New Zealand has capitulated, so be it. Angola looks pretty good. But, um, you know what should happen? There should be a continuous focus that emphasizes compliance. I think that would be good. That would be a new type of continuous focus that you could institute or root out more resistance. Actually, isn't that already one? Root out resistance? Suppress subjects. We have suppressed subjects. And resistance suppression. But there is no... Actually, I'm not considering doing that. But um, there is no way for you to get more compliance. Which I think is a kind of a missed opportunity for National Spirit. But that's just me. Cool. Like I said, I'm done focusing on land doctrine. We can focus on tanks, but we're doing okay already. We definitely need that. Better recon. Get some better engineers, maybe. Land out attack. Here we go. So, this is what we're going to try. You guys are going to come up that way. And I want you to come up that way. Try it. If we can circle these guys, that would be amazing. Give them as much force attack as they need. Because we need to move fast, fast, fast. They're going to throw in more divisions. That's okay. Good. We're getting attacked immediately. And I need you to help out attack up there. Come on. Infantry anti-tank, which is nice. Gets more piercing and anti-tank. I don't know if we'll be able to win here. It doesn't really... Let's, let's just hold for now. Let's just hold. I don't want to lose too many tanks. And manpower, of course, is precious. Let them attack us. Civilian economy. We have that. Let's not do anything for now. Streamline line. That's very good. We want to build up some more synthetic refineries. There you go. Make two. Get more fuel. Get more rubber. Since we're probably going to lose Angola. Oh, that actually be pretty good right now. Let's get some more rubber. Yeah. Yeah, we definitely need more rubber and definitely more fuel, which we're importing from the United States, which is a little dangerous, but we haven't lost any convoys yet, which is good. America's struggling a little bit over here, but they have come around here, or... Free France has come over here, and that's the United States. Oh, they lost a little bit of Sicily. They're around Rome. For the love of God, Soviets do not collapse. They're going to collapse, though. I can already tell. Awesome. Yeah, if I lose that tile, I'm, I lose a lot of guys here. Oh, they recognize danger there. Danger? How dangerous. Hmm. I mean, our guys are looking pretty good. Uh, what do we need? Tanks? Fighters? Motorized. Tanks. M way more guns. Fighters. Ah, anarchism knows no borders. Great. Now. 
expand and repair the dockyards. That's okay. That's okay as well. Global Defense Council. For the transfer and coring of any foreign controlled states that have sufficiently high compliance, plant the seeds of revolution, allowing for the creation of anarchist uprisings in neighboring enemy countries. Can we, like, have anarchists rise up in Vichy France? That would be fun. I hope so, I don't know, but those with sentiments akin to our ours have long been silenced by their oppressive governments. We will give these groupings the weapons they need so that they may topple their nations from within and join our case when we route our enemies and link up with them. I want to see if that might be able to work, and I'm hoping to god that the compliance gets higher than 25% up here. Not bad, we're just kind of hanging out. Definitely want to attack like here or something. Oh, they have, they're suffering a little bit of attrition, which is good to see. Italy is a giant mess. Holy cow. Oh, they're actually beating the United States in Sicily. Holy crud. Hmm. Definitely need to attack here. But right here, I might be able to do okay. Don't take you guys. Don't take you guys. Take... If I can push that way as well, we might be able to circle that division too. Gun-wise, we're still doing okay. Artillery, we got plenty of artillery. Plenty of artillery. Nice job, guys. Doing well. Doing very well. But encirclements are the ones that win the day. So. That's where we gotta go. We're still mobilizing just a little bit, which is good. Let those two divisions get out. We have field hospitals, thank the lord. Immediately throw them on our divisions, which is going to cost even more manpower for us, but whatever, I need these guys. And manpower is going to drop. We're going to need a lot of support equipment. Build that up still. Uh, you build that up too. Let's start building up some more military factories. That'll be important. Do something like that. There you go. And let these guys move out. Some will come in, some will move out. We want to make sure we have the best possible opportunity. Yes, I know I can still use my cipher. I can still use my encryption, but a lot of these guys, they're not actually uh, French soldiers. Most of these guys actually are just Germans who have to die. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead. I don't mind them moving. I was going to think about doing a support attack, but now nah. If they move as well, it's fine with me. Come on. You're led by tanks. They can't pierce you. Yes, we don't have air superiority, but that's okay. Since when has that stopped anyone? Also, if you, if you know a way to like lower compliance, or no, raise compliance, I mean, please, let me know in the comments below. Hey, we encircled four divisions. There we go. Even with... Oh, they did not like that. They did not like that. Those French divisions are not very strong. Beautiful. And those French divisions are dying. Which makes me feel better. Which makes me feel quite a bit better. Oh, Rome fell again. If you could capitulate Italy, that could do a massive number of damage on these guys. Massive number? A big number. Oh, we're actually going to lose a tile here. Hold on. Oh, you lost. Darn. Well, they want to do that. I will take your life. Kill them off so we can move those divisions out of there. Great job, guys. Now, everyone hold here. And spread out where you actually need to go. Very good. Nice. We actually did an encirclement. An okay-ish encirclement. Mm. Uh, let's double check this. I want to see resistance. It's going up slowly. So slowly. I want to lower resistance even more. Yes, we have low stability, but we're anarchists. Like, what do you expect? Like, seriously, man. Like, for real? Oh, hold on. So this is the last thing we'll do here. So Santiago the Lightning Cabrera shot down the Red Battle Flyer. Our latest mission over southern France was a great success for the Iberian Anarchist Air Force in more than one aspect. Reports have come in highlighting Santiago the Lightning Cabrera's heroic deed, managing to outwit the German pilot Joachim Berman, known as the Red Battle Flyer. The Lightning used himself as bait and lured the Red Battle Flyer into a trap where the Iberian Anarchist pilots were able to dive on the Red Battle Flyer's squadron. The Lightning proceeded to outmaneuver the German aircraft and with a single burst sent the Red Battle Flyer spiraling from the skies of southern France. 
Joachim, the Red Battle Flyer, Bowerman, was a feared pilot with many Iberian anarchist lives on his conscience. This is a great victory and shows that when we rally behind great heroes, they perform great deeds. Awesome. And unfortunately, that's all the time for that we have today. We've done not too bad. We actually went to war with the Axis. We're holding fairly okay for now. And, um, yeah, Italy is probably going to capitulate in the next episode as well as the Soviet Union. I just don't think they can come back from this. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, video. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow when Norway might be whole once again. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.